Hi, I'm Shannon. <laughs> this is Rusty. And this is Karen. Hi. My new uh, workout buddy. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take her through three workouts that she'll do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So on Mondays, she's going to start with bicep curls for three sets of eight. Just regular, straight on bicep curls. And then switch to hammer curls for your superset right after for three sets of six. So you're going to do eight and then six and then break for a minute and then do it two more times. Okay. Um, after that, you're going to go into leg raises. These are really good for not only your hamstring flexibility, <laughs> but also for playing with dogs. And um, to activate your transverse abdominals, which are important just for like everyday living, like sitting at your desk, really good okay. for your posture. Okay. Um, so they need. More than like, you know, getting lean, which we do also care about. Um, then we're going to go into triceps extensions. So just overhead. Okay. And having you do three sets of 12, 10. Three sets of ten, and then you're gonna go on your couch or your bed, mm -hmm. and you're gonna superset them with um, dips. So you're just go on the edge, just bending them okay. like this. And then if it's too hard, you can always go tabletop and the same thing. Okay. Just like wait. <laughs> <laughs> and same thing. So you're gonna do ten extensions, eight dips, and then break. Okay. And then Monday's workout ends with Russian twists. You're just gonna take your dumbbell. Twist side to side, ten each side, three times. Okay. Now Wednesday's workout, we're focusing on um, back muscle activation, which is really important for your posture, and then a little bit of lower body. So we're gonna start with bird dogs, three sets of eight each side. So you do tabletop position like you do in yep. yoga. Yep. And I'm sure you've done these where you yes. stand the opposite and yes. you just come in and you hit the dog and you go back down. You're doing that each each side, each leg, three times. Okay, each leg, three times. Okay. Then we're doing planks, um, 30 seconds each side, forward, side, side. So, so 30 seconds straight, right? Then yeah, and then if you need to take a break, you can take a break, but otherwise just go straight into that. Okay. And then eventually work up to um, like push up planks. Okay. Then you can do these. Okay. That's only one set of 30 because yes, it doesn't be yes. demanding. Um, then we're going to do Superman, supersetted with single arm Supermans. This is really, really good for your back. Okay. Um, but these, if you, if your back's not normally um, activating, yes. this might be too many. So okay. you'll always feel free to cut okay. down the sets okay. if you have to. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> so Superman, you lie straight down. Okay. So <laughs> use your arm. Yes. Yeah. Um, you want to engage your glutes and your lower back. Okay. And you lift up everything. That's your arms. I can't do it all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can, you might be a lot easier to just do single arm, which is opposite arm, opposite leg, just like bird dogs. Okay. You just go down. Okay. And literally, it's like all your glute and your lower back. Okay. In yoga, it's like pull up my shoulders when we do this. Yeah. Thing. Yes. Okay. So. Okay. One leg. One leg. Ugh. Kill me. Okay. Then body weight squats, 3 by 20, just like this. If this is too easy, then you can easily grab a dumbbell in your hand and just do this. And then eventually you can work into holding them to the side and turn it into a deadlift. And this is really good for activating your glutes. A lot of times when people have back problems, it's because their glutes aren't activating, so it's always good to do glute okay. exercises. Um, after then, we have standing lunges. Again, if you want to grab dumbbells, grab dumbbells. Just forward and back. You want to make sure that when you go forward, your knee stays above your ankle. You want to be able to see your toes. You want your back to be straight. And you want your glute to be firing okay. on both sides. Um, and switch each. No, so you do eight right. on the left, okay. and then eight on the right, and okay. then take a break. Okay. Um, and then lastly on that day, we have single leg RDL. These are just like... Again, really important for glute activation. If you want to use a dumbbell, you can, but this really just works your balance. I think I said three sets of six each leg. Yes. That should be like yes. really getting everything going. Wow, should do this. Yes, agreed. Okay, and then Friday, 
your last workout of the week. Um, we'll do push press for three sets of eight. That's just here. You want to make sure your elbow is in line with your shoulder. Okay. Just going up okay. and back down. Okay. You can also do to do it from a seated position if you want. It really doesn't make that much of a okay. difference, whatever okay. you're comfortable with. Okay. Um, then we're going to do bench press on the floor. A lot of times people don't have a bench to do bench press, but a flat bench is also just as effective. Okay. And literally just up, down. Should I be fully up, on my back? Down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and you want to make way. sure that your shoulder is staying in line of itself. You don't want it to be like out here or in here. You want everything to just be really smooth, and you'll feel it if it's off. Okay. Um, then single arm row, which we did the other day. Yeah. Couch or yeah. bed, just on the edge of the yeah. couch. Just up, down, and up. You want to make sure it's not like a lawnmower pull. People make the mistake of going all the way down yes. and all the way up, yes. and you lose that. Your back needs to be straight, and you're just pulling up and down. Um, and then last thing, push-ups. You can do girl push-ups, which I hate that's how it sounds. Um, but that'll just, you know, that along with the with the bench press on that day will really get your chest going and things is good. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And it'll be a lot easier without a dog. So. <laughs>